I'm on my way to uh, the Apple store right now. It's uh, 11.57. This is Meeple Bee Walk. It's so busy. I really want these QC35 twos with the Google Assistant, except I'm not a billionaire. Okay, here's the cables. The cable I need is, not that one, this one. USB-C to lightning cable. Ooh. The other thing I need to get is this, USB-C 29 watt power adapter. I now have the cable and the exact adapter I want for fast charging, but there's a problem. $59 for an adapter? So add the cable for 35 bucks and it's gonna be $94. Yeah, there's no way in hell I'm ever doing that. All right, done at the Apple store. I uh, got the fast charging cable and adapter. So fast charging with the iPhone X. I can't believe I bought that silly adapter. 60 bucks for an adapter. Man, Apple really gets you. Hopefully fast charging is good though. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna open this adapter now. So pretty uh, typical looking Apple adapter. Looks similar to the iPad adapter. That's a USB adapter, this is a USB-C adapter. Opening the USB-C to lightning cable. There's a one meter cable. Oh, nice, good quality cable. This is overpriced for $35, but it's a good cable. It's almost nine o'clock. Uh, my iPhone X is now at 10%. I haven't charged it yet since I bought that fast charger. So now I'm gonna try. I'm gonna plug it in at exactly 9 p.m. in a few minutes here um, and see how long it takes to go from 10% to, I guess, 100%, 90%. It has to. So it's supposed to go 50% in half an hour. That means at 9.30, it'll be at 60%. And then let's see what happens from there. By 10 o'clock in one hour, does it get to 90% maybe? So if it goes from 10% to 85% in one hour, I'll be satisfied. Okay, let's find out what it does. Okay, we're gonna plug it in now. Nine o'clock. Okay. Nine o'clock, nine percent. Started charging at nine percent. Thirty minutes have passed. Apple says fifty percent in half an hour, so we should be at fifty-nine percent. Anything better than fifty-nine percent? And I am thrilled. Let's see what it is. Here we go. Exciting. 60%, give me 60. 60%, 60%, did you see that? Ooh, 61%, yeah. I'm thrilled, that is totally fast charging. So this iPhone X went from 9% to 60% in half an hour. That's fantastic, I'm very happy with that. 9.45, let's see what it is. 79%, wow. So 9% to 79%, so 70% in 45 minutes. Good, pretty good. Okay, 85. 87%. 80% in an hour to an iPhone, that's awesome. In 15 more minutes, the battery got to 95%. But after that, charging slowed down a lot. After another 25 minutes, it was still only at 99%. It took a full extra 30 minutes, right up to 1045 before I saw 100%. So it's really not worth charging past 95% because it takes too long. For comparison, I ran the same test 
with my older iPad charger, starting at 9% again. After 15 minutes, the iPad charger took the phone to 23%, but the fast charger at that point was already at 35%. At the 30 minute mark, the iPad charger was at 39%, but the fast charger at 60%. So almost 20% ahead at the half hour mark. At the 45 minute mark, the iPad charger is at 54, the fast charger at 79%. And at the one hour mark, when our fast charger had already taken the phone to 87%, the iPad charger was at 64%. 15 minutes later, at the 75 minute mark, the iPad charger was at 76% and the fast charger was at 95%. At the 90 minute mark, the iPad charger is at 86% and the fast charger is pretty much done at 98%. At the 105 minute mark, the fast charger is completely done, 100%, and the iPad charger is now at 95%. So this is at the 105 minute mark. From then on, even the iPad charger slows down tremendously and then ends up taking another half an hour to get to 100%, just like the fast charger. To conclude, the fast charger definitely makes a significant difference in charging time, especially when you're charging it for under 75 minutes, under an hour and 15 minutes. When you charge for 45 to 60 minutes, you're usually getting about 20 to 25% more charge in that same time with the fast charger. So that's a great benefit and definitely makes it nice to have a fast charger. However, I don't think it's worth spending this much money on the Apple charger. Um, I think at this stage, you still probably should get the Apple cable, but there are other adapt 29 watt adapters available from third party vendors like Anchor for a lot less money that will likely provide the same per performance. Okay, thank you for watching.